let's say we believe for a minute that carbon dioxide is killing our planet and is a devil gas. Let's just believe that carbon dioxide kills plants, kills humans. It's evil. Plants don't breathe it. It's a devil gas. It's, it, 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 it's a poison. It's like cyanide gas. Carbon dioxide must be banned and must be banned today. Let's just believe that for a moment. Let's just accept it. Let's ban it. Let's restrict it. Carbon dioxide is literally the breath of Satan. We must ban carbon dioxide now. Those wicked trees are breathing it. They're in league with Bush. Let's just believe that for a moment then what is the United Nations and the U.S. government and the European Union, what are they doing? They are calling for hundreds of new regulations and hundreds of new taxes in the Western world over how big your house is or how, what you eat or taxes on foods that have big carbon footprints in their production. But China, India, and 160 plus other third world countries have zero carbon restrictions that will only force any industry we've got left to travel to those third world countries where they have zero controls. Now, how does that save us from the ultimate threat, the devil gas, straight from the devil's lungs, carbon dioxide? How does moving it to countries with no controls, how does that save us from the wicked devil gas, I ask you? It doesn't save us from the devil gas. It increases the amount of carbon dioxide. But the elite isn't worried about that because they actually know it's a life accelerant for the plants, the plankton, then the krill, and all the animals up the food chain that feed on it. You can go out and ask Americans if we should ban water. You go out and you say, should we ban hydrogen chloride? And they say, hell yeah, that sounds deadly. Or you go out and you tell them, should we ban salt? But you use the scientific name for salt, sodium chloride. And they say, let's ban it. Again, they don't know. This is an absolute fact that what they claim with global warming is a fraud, and it's nothing but a push for world government. And the UN says that 2,000 prominent scientists, preeminent scientists, Men and women of letters said that man-made global warming is caused by carbon dioxide and we're all dead basically in a hundred years if we don't stop it. And now hundreds of those scientists, more than 500 have come out and said, I was never even contacted, they just put my name on this. It is a fraud. That tax is a eugenics tax against animal life, mainly us homo sapien sapien. It is a license for full control and regulatory systems over all of our activities right down to our basic respiration. And now I've ranted on that subject. Actually, I'm with Al-Qaeda. We're trying to keep you from banning the devil gas. We want you to breathe the carbon dioxide and all die. <laughs> all right. Well, that's my rant. End game is out. And it is a labor of love. It took me a year and a half to make. We're going to make an end game too that just goes over the cell phone radiation and the lead and the arsenic and the mercury and all the things they're not concerned about controlling. And so we're going to show you the eugenics they're carrying out against us from their own documents in the second end game. It'll probably be out in two years. We're even in a free country and I haven't been taken to Gitmo yet. But uh, in the meantime, as I sit up here as a sweat hog, if anybody's got any questions or comments, I'd be glad to take them. Yeah, one over here. Go ahead, sir. You and vaccines? Vaccines? Yeah. Well, we have a global elite that is engaged in tens of thousands of declassified chemical, biological, and radiological tests, a large portion of them being lethal against subway commuters in New York, against people in their homes in San Francisco, against the pregnant wives of GIs. Oh, honey, you want some vitamins, and they give them uranium pills. Against foster children radiated to death. Against black men with syphilis in Tuskegee. 
against Native Americans. Thousands and thousands of examples. We just covered 20 or so in this film. It isn't even the tip of the iceberg, the proverbial iceberg. And so we have a global elite that openly says they want to poison us, dumb us down, kill us, control us, in hundreds of books and documents and government memorandums and operational policies of Western governments. And I'm going to trust them and take shots they want to give me. Well, let's just say I'm going to trust them and I'm going to take the shots they want to give me. Then, from A to Z, there are millions of cases of people dying, people getting autoimmune diseases, people becoming paralyzed, uh, autism, all of this out of these vaccines. And then you find out who's producing them, who's making them. Could there be good vaccines? Yes, certainly vaccines have their place. In it, and, and you can give somebody a weakened form of what would be making them sick, and they can acquire an immunity from that without facing the full insult of that organism or virus, that genetic information. The vaccines, they may claim that they've got some you know, good things about them and some attributes about them, but overall, you cannot trust the vaccines because of the establishment and the people that are controlling them. So you were driving down Mopac and you saw a big military tanker green yeah. spraying some type of fog out the top. So thick she couldn't even see. I couldn't even see like two cars in front of you, and I it kind of freaked me out. I took a different route to get to where I was going, and I was. Just, I was there are to several. See what was going on and I don't there are several Asian moths that kill trees, and a lot of that is kind of a payoff to the pesticide companies. A lot of this is good old boy deals. So in every major city in the country, and multiple times a year, there's planes spraying. But my expanded point was is that a lot of that is, you had like three people die in New York, remember five years ago, six years ago, of uh, the, uh, oh, what's that thing you get from the mosquitoes? West Nile. Yeah, West Nile. And they're like, well, three or four people died. Why are you spraying the whole city with aircraft and cars, trucks, for this? And really it was a big payoff to pesticide makers. So you got 20 million people in the city, and three or four have died, and now they're going to spray it all to kill a mosquito. It's all about the psychology of them preparing you and them getting you ready for being sprayed, being controlled. And it's also about building up that larger infrastructure. But it isn't really just about that. It's about funding the infrastructure of this. But it's also about training squads of military drivers, helicopter pilots, and other people. And the Sunshine Project here in Texas did FOIA request and got it declassified in 2000, that they do these drills everywhere to get the pilots and the drivers ready to think it's just spray for mosquitoes. But it's really for the day that the helicopters and the trucks start driving, they're wearing their gas masks, when they spray knockout gas. And, and this came out, this was declassified in 2000, that every major city has National Guard armories with helicopters folded up that they keep in maintenance, and in 10 minutes they can go in, get the blades out, start them up, they put the gas tanks on them, the spray tanks, for whatever they're told, they're not told what's in it, and they put their mask on and they go get in. Taking off and flying over U.S. cities and spraying whatever they're told. So God knows what you saw. Remember back in 99 they had a fake nuclear spill on I-35? and they shut down Kyle, and I went down there and exposed it was fake. Then they had the DPS shut down for sickness, turned out it was a drill. It was a PSYOP on the American people. Remember three weeks ago, they had a fake FEMA press conference with the wildfires in Southern California, and they had like 100 FEMA employees dressed up like reporters with pads of paper and fake cameramen and women. See, so it, they know about habitualization. They know how to train us to do something over and over and over and over and over again until we accept it, until we think it's okay. Well, it's the same thing with their people. They took a, the seed of a few thousand Nazi scientists, brought them over here, and had them train whole cadres of our troops and our medical doctors, military doctors, to put a small child in a radiation chamber and fry them. First it was a retarded child. Well, they don't have a life. Then it was 
a normal foster child, say, and then it was an adult, and then it was, let's march our troops into a chamber and nerve gas them, and then tell their mother they died of the flu. See, it's all part of a journey towards evil, a journey towards corruption, training groups of people to carry out their operations in an unquestioning way.